good morning everyone today we are going to start new chapter exponents in this chapter we will study about introduction of exponents exponents of negative rational number laws of exponent and scientific notation if i'll ask you what is the distance between your home and our lovely school you will say 5 10 or 20 kilometers if i'll ask you what is the distance between jodhpur and mumbai you will easily take out your phone and search on google and say sir it's approx 1000 kilometers but if i'll ask you tell me what is the weight of earth and what is the weight of sun again you will use that google baba and you will find these numbers which is very large to read and learn so for that we have to learn and understand new concept of mathematics that is known as exponents now we know that weight of an earth is 5 9 7 4 0 0 0 and 21 times 0 this number is very large to read and use hence large numbers are expressed in exponential form to reduce their size and make it easy 5 9 7 4 0 0 0 and so on is nothing but multiplication of 5 9 7 4 and 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 21 times we can express this number as 5974 into 10 raised to the power 21 or 5.974 into 10 raised to the power 24 which makes it easy to read and use let's understand how exponents help us let's take a smaller number 100 how you can write 100 100 can be written as 10 into 10 in order to get 100 we multiply two tens so this concept of 10 into 10 can also be expressed as 10 raised to the power 2 what does this mean this means that we multiplied this number two times in a similar way we can write 10 raised to the power 3 what does this mean this means that 10 is multiplied three times similarly 10 raised to the power 4 means 10 is multiplied four times now you can see instead of writing 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 it is easier to write as 10 raised to the power 4 similarly if you will write 10 raised to the power 12 so that actually means that you are multiplying the number 10 for 12 times which is very tedious and time consuming so 10 raised to the power 2 10 raised to the power 3 10 raised to the power 4 are much easier way and this is called exponential form so as you see that in 10 raised to the power 3 you have two integers one is 10 and another is 3 10 is known as base whereas 3 is called the exponent so we can say that number which is to be multiplied by itself is known as base and the number which tells us how many times the base is multiplied is known as exponent or power or index this can be read as 10 raised to the power 3 or 10 to the power 3 now the next topic for today is exponents of negative rational numbers the exponent of a negative rational number can be even as well as odd the value of a number written in exponential form depends upon the exponent and can be positive or negative to understand this let's solve an example so consider these numbers minus 1 raised to the power 2 minus 5 raised to the power 4 minus 2 by 3 raised to the power 6 when you will solve this you will get minus 1 into minus 1 which is equals to 1 similarly when you will solve this minus 5 into minus 5 into minus 5 into minus 5 you will get 
625 and when you solve this minus 2 by 3 into minus 2 by 3 six times you have to write this minus 2 by 3 as the exponent is 6 so you will get 64 upon 729 when you'll notice the answer the result after solving these exponents you will see that all results are positive so you can say that if you have even exponents then your answer is always positive then your answer will always be positive answer now let's consider for odd exponents suppose you have minus 1 raised to the power 3 minus 5 raised to the power 5 so when you solve this you will get minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 which is equals to minus 1 and when you will solve this exponent you will get minus 5 into minus 5 into minus 5 you will multiply it 5 times as your exponent is 5 and your answer is minus 3 1 2 5 now when you will observe their answer answer is negative so you can say that when you have odd exponent your answer is negative so from above we can conclude that if p is a rational number and the exponent of that p and if the exponent of that p is even then your answer is always positive and if the exponent of that p is odd then your answer is negative now we'll solve question number three and question number three says that you have to express the following number in exponential notation what this exponential notation means that you have to express this number in exponential form that is a raised to the power n for this you have to find the prime factorization of 16384 so let's find prime factorization of 16384 So you can write 16384 as a product of 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 14 times. As this number is a repeated multiplication of 2, so we can write it as 2 raised to the power 14. 